Okay, so I'm super, super pumped for tomorrow. Um, like, there's already like well over 200 people registered to come hang out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. And I only promote promoted this for like three days. It's crazy. So I'm really happy with the response. So I just wanted to share like some of the things that we're gonna talk about is super interesting because. Um, there's a lot of really dangerous ideas and, and I really like to spend time explaining, um, s explaining how dangerous some of these ideas can be. So you ever hear this idea that, um, diabetes is when your pancreas gives up because your pancreas makes insulin, uh, and insulin brings your blood sugar down, forces it into the muscles, forces it into different types of cells, uh, to hopefully be burned. Um, but diabetes is when the, the pancreas stops working. And that, that's what's generally taught. And that's not what happens at all. What happens is when you have blood sugars uh, that are too high and insulin has to bring those down, the first place that it tries to put it is inside of the muscle. But if you don't exercise, it's, it's a little hard for your body to do that. Um, but anyways, what, insulin forces the sugar inside of the muscles, forces the sugar inside of different cells inside of your body, bringing your blood sugar down, um, which is great. And that, that's, that's the way that it's supposed to work. Um, and we could stay, we could remain in that flux forever. Uh, the problem um, with diabetes, what happens when your... Um, uh, fasting insulin begins to rise, uh, is different parts of your body will become resistant to insulin. So your muscles will become resistant to insulin, they'll stop listening to insulin, the sugar is not allowed to come into the muscle. So then the liver, the pancreas is going to have to make more insulin to drive the sugar inside of the muscle to, to then be burned. Uh, insulin resistance develops in multiple different tissues in your body, one of the tissues that it really uh, um, has a dangerous manifestation in is in your liver when the liver becomes insulin resistant that's when it that's when the game changes because your liver is it, it fills itself up with sugar uh with um a sugar sugar molecules we'll, we will call glycogen which is just like a a whole bunch of glucose all stuck together and so really concentrated glucose really concentrated sugar your liver creates that glycogen that really concentrated sugar all day and um and what's supposed to happen when you eat and you have and your blood sugar goes up your insulin uh goes up uh insulin when your liver sees that there's insulin in your body, it's supposed to stop producing, uh, stop making sugar. You're not supposed to make sugar in the presence of sugar. Then the sugars are going to be way too high. So when the what happens when your fasting insulin starts to go up, um, your body starts to become resistant to insulin. The most dangerous part of your body to become resistant to insulin to stop listening to insulin is your liver. Uh, because then it's going to be, uh, it, it can't, it doesn't listen to the insulin that's out there. It doesn't stop producing sugar. So even in the presence of sugar, your liver is still pumping out a bunch of sugar. And, and so then that's when the pancreas, like there's no amount of insulin that your pancreas can make that could possibly keep up with the amount of sugar that's being pumped out into your body. So then you need medication. So, um, this idea that your pancreas just stops working is is a, is a, is a total bogus. It doesn't just stop working. It just it can't keep up. And given the right circumstance, your pancreas, uh, like if we, if we could just teach our organs um, how like remove that resistance, teach your liver how to be sensitive to insulin, teach your muscles how to how, sensitize your muscles to insulin, then um, you're going to be able to control your blood sugars enough with the amount of insulin your pancreas is producing. Uh, if only there was a way that we could develop insulin sensitivity in the in the liver to give your liver the ability to see, hey, I don't need to be pumping out 80 grams of sugar while I'm eating. I could stop. Now the pancreas and the insulin that the pancreas is able to make is able to keep up. And that's a, that's a really good start to, to the process. These are some of the medicines that I'm going to be talking about. Of course, they're, they're mechanisms that they, that they uh, employ GLUT2 transport in the liver, uh, GLUT4 transport in the muscles, uh, um, shuttling all of the sugar in 
making your muscles into these glucose burning machines so yeah a lot of a lot of real cool stuff i get to blast through a whole bunch of these ideas on uh tomorrow tomorrow night five to seven we're gonna be giving her so it's gonna be super fun uh, i just wanted to sort of pique your interest and and uh get us all excited and maybe help us formulate some questions uh already even before the event uh because i really want to have some a lot of time afterwards to have a discussion uh and uh e even prior where i'm going to be set up uh, at least a half hour before i'll start the meeting um so that uh <laughs> for t technological issues potential technological issues <laughs> so yeah uh come hang out get registered uh share up the poster get everybody to come hang out it's gonna be super fun i can't wait to to get to hang out with everybody tomorrow focus on something i'm really passionate about talking about and teaching about and some of these dangerous ideas really dispelling them and giving us uh a hopeful outlook on uh our ability to manage to control manage and and uh deal with the diabetes epidemic that we're in right now it's gonna be super fun so Share it up. Come hang out. <laughs> to me, let's.